Did you know that Jamaica has 67 airstrips and three international airports? And did you know that Jamaica built its own airplane in 1937? Well, they didn't build one, they built three in all. But how did it all start? Let's go back in time. The history of aviation in Jamaica is a rich tapestry of pioneering feats, local ingenuity, and the evolution of a national airline that connected the island to the world. This journey spans from the early 20th century to the present, highlighting key milestones in the development of Jamaican aviation. The early days, first landing. The history of aviation in Jamaica began on December 21, 1911, when the first airplane, piloted by American aviator Jesse Seligman, landed at the race course in Kingston, the area that is now known as National Heroes Park. This historic event drew a large crowd, eager to witness this technological marvel. People waited for hours, filled with anticipation and excitement to see the plane descend from the sky. Seligman's flight was just a one-time spectacle. He performed multiple flights over the next few days, solidifying the fascination with aviation among Jamaicans and marking Jamaica's entry into the world of aviation. And just for reference, this occurred eight years after the world recorded its first powered flight by the Wright brothers. Nineteen years later, on December 3, 1930, the first commercial flight, Pan American Consolidated Commodore, a twin-engined flying boat, landed in the Kingston Harbor. On November 21, 1931, the famous U.S. aviator, Colonel Charles Lindbergh, brought the inaugural Pan-American Sisarski S-4 Clipper to Jamaica. And 1934 was also a historic year for the nation's aviation industry, when Dr. Albert Forsythe and Charles C. Anderson, the godfathers of African-American aviation, arrived in Jamaica from Cuba. Growth and Development – The Interwar Years Following the historic landing, aviation slowly developed in Jamaica. The interwar years saw increased interest and occasional visits by pioneering aviators. Notably, in 1929, Jamaican-born pilot Louis Hitchens, flying at the Aviland Gypsy Moth, became the first Jamaican to make a solo flight from the United States to Jamaica. This significant achievement demonstrated the growing capabilities and interest in aviation within Jamaica. The birth of local aviation Miss Lou, Miss Jamaica, and Miss Pitts. Jamaica's aviation industry took a significant leap forward in the 1930s and 1940s. In 1937, the first Jamaican built aircraft, named Miss Lou, took to the skies. This aircraft was constructed by Jamaica Welfare Limited under the guidance of Norman Manley, a prominent Jamaican statesman at the time. Miss Lou was a testament to local craftsmanship and innovation showcasing Jamaica's ability to contribute to aviation technology. Alongside Miss Lou, Jamaica also saw the creation of Miss Jamaica and Miss Pitts. Miss Jamaica was a DH-60G gypsy moth that played a crucial role in local aviation history. Meanwhile, Miss Pitts, a Pitts special, highlighted the skill and the dedication of Jamaican engineers and aviators. These aircraft symbolized Jamaica's growing confidence and capability in aviation. And this era also saw the establishment of Palisados Airport, now Norman Manley International Airport, in 1939, which became a central hub for aviation activities on the island, further bolstering Jamaica's position in the aviation world. If you are intrigued by the story of aviation in Jamaica as I am, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more fascinating historical explorations. Your support helps us to bring more content like this. And if you'd like to further support the channel, consider checking out the links in the description for ways to contribute. Now, let's get back on flight. Post-war expansion, the rise of commercial aviation. After World War II, commercial aviation began to flourish. In 1948, British West Indian Airways, or BWIA, started regular flights to Jamaica, connecting the island with other Caribbean destinations. 
This period also witnessed the birth of Jamaica's own commercial airline, Caribbean International Airways, which commenced operations in 1947, but had a short-lived existence. The Golden Age, Air Jamaica The pinnacle of Jamaican aviation came with the establishment of Air Jamaica on August 1, 1968. The national airline, affectionately known as Lovebird, was a symbol of Jamaican pride and independence. Initially a joint venture with Air Canada, Air Jamaica expanded rapidly, offering flights to North America, Europe, and the Caribbean. During the 1970s and 80s, Air Jamaica became synonymous with Jamaican hospitality and service. The airline's brightly colored livery and signature, out of many one people, reflected the spirit of the nation. At its peak, Air Jamaica operated a modern fleet, including Boeing 727s, Airbus A300s, and the later Airbus A320s. The Decline and the Sale – Transition to Caribbean Airlines Despite its success, financial difficulties plagued Air Jamaica. The airline struggled with debt and operational inefficiencies leading to multiple government bailouts. In 2010, in an effort to stem the losses, the Jamaican government sold Air Jamaica to Trinidad and Tobago's Caribbean Airlines. This transition marked the end of an era for many Jamaicans who had grown up with the lovebird as a symbol of national pride. Caribbean Airlines maintained some of the former Air Jamaica routes and integrated the brand into its operations, ensuring continued connectivity for Jamaica. Modern Day – Continued Evolution Today, Jamaican aviation continues to evolve. Norman Manley International Airport in Kingston, Sangster International Airport in Montego Bay both serve as key gateways to the island, handling millions of passengers annually. And the newly opened Ian Fleming International Airport in St. Mary, named after the famous author who resided in Jamaica, further enhances the island's aviation infrastructure. Additionally, Jamaica boasts a total of 67 airstrips, reflecting its robust aviation network. And uh, did you know that 10 locations were examined before the Palisado site was considered for Jamaica's first airport? Some of the sites considered were Bumper Hall, the War Department lands at Up Park Camp and uh, Arbor Head, a site on the Nero Road, the Norman Range lands, Mona, the Greenwich, Recl the Greenwich Reclamation Area, May Pen, Kingston Pen lands and uh, Kingston Racecourse. Caribbean Airlines remains a vital link, while other international carriers have increased their presence, underscoring Jamaica's importance as a tourist destination. In addition to commercial aviation, general aviation has also grown, with local flight schools and private operators contributing to the industry. The development of Vernon Field Aerodrome as a cargo and logistics hub represents a new chapter in Jamaican aviation, promising economic growth and increased connectivity. The history of Jamaican aviation is a testament to the island's resilience, innovation, and global connectivity. From the first landing at the race course to the national pride embodied by Air Jamaica and the continued evolution of air travel, aviation has played a crucial role in shaping Jamaica's modern identity. As the industry moves forward, the legacy of those early pioneers and the spirit of the lovebird continue to inspire future generations of Jamaican aviators. Thank you for joining us on this journey. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more captivating stories. I really love hearing your thoughts, so leave a comment below about what you found most interesting in this video. To support our channel and help us create more content like this, check out the links in the description. And until next time, keep exploring and stay curious. Thank you for watching.